dear students what if you take your mathematics textbook copy and a pencil today we are going to learn a new chapter chapter name is regional and roman numbers chapter 2 and students please draw this table in your fair copy the table of hindi numerals from 1 to 100 this table please draw in your fair copy here it is given 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 in this manner okay students let's move to the first topic roman numbers here it is already a table given i e stands for 1 v e stands for 5 or if you read together x e stands for 10 l e stands for 50 c e stands for 100 d e stands for 500 and m e stands for 1000 Okay, students please draw this table also in your fair copy this table is Roman numbers here it is given Hindu Arabic numeral 1 2 3 4 5 and here it is I 2 times I and just you draw this table in your fair copy and I will add one video that video will help you help you to study more about regional and roman numbers almost as a secret code way of writing the numbers it's pretty simple to learn and we're going to go through that the first roman numeral we're going to learn is the roman numeral i and i is one i equals one so if you see an i with a roman numeral it's one the letter V is the Roman numeral that means five. And the letter X is the Roman numeral that means 10. So when you think one, it's an I. You think five, it's a V. And if you think 10, it's an X. So that's it, just those three. I, it almost looks like a one. That's how you can remember that I is a 1. I is the Roman numeral for 1. A V is in the number 5 when you spell it out. The number 5, you see that right there? It has a V in it. So when you think of V, you know, oh, you know what? There's a V in the spelled out number 5. So V has to be 5. Now, 10 is X. And we can't think of anything that could remind us of that. So there is no memorization thing. Just when you see the X, it's 10. And that's just what we're going to have to do. Okay, one last time here. I just want to make sure you get it. There's only three. I is the Roman numeral for one. V is the Roman numeral for five. And X is the Roman numeral for 10. And you got to understand that so that we can start playing kind of a game of putting them together and making numbers other than just 1, 5, and 10. So let's get started. So let's practice putting these Roman numerals together. What number do you think this is? You see two I's and I is 1. So the answer is 2. Two I's is the number Two. What about this one? What number do you think this is? There are three eyes. Yeah, it's the number three. Let's try this one. What number do you think this is? We see two X's. And x equals 10, so 10 plus 10 equals 20. Great job! This is the number 20. Whoa, this one is so cool. Okay. An x and a v. What number do you think this is? The x is a 10. The V is what number? Five. Awesome. 
So what is 10 plus 5? 15! Whoa! Thanks so much for helping out! Now that we've looked at how to put some of these together, I want to tell you about two special numerals that are a little bit different, and so you're going to have to just remember these on their own. The first is the number 4, and the number 4 is represented with an I and a V, and the I is before the V because 4 is one less than 5, which is V. So remember, with 4, it's IV. With 9, it's similar, except with the X. 9 is IX. X is 10, and I is just before it, so 9 is IX. Okay, that was really cool. Thanks for hanging out and learning those with me, but we're not done. We want to go through all the numbers up to 30 just using the numerals, and I want to see how much you've really learned. So if you'll do me a favor, as the numerals go up, I want you to say the numbers along with me, and we can practice together. Sound good? All right, let's get started. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Well, there you have it, a new way to write numbers, Roman numerals. Thanks for hanging out and learning with us today. We had a great time, and we hope you did too. If you all enjoyed this video, okay students, let us wind up today's class, see you tomorrow, stay home, stay safe.